throttle. Oh, just flipped it. Probably just scuffed up my GPS bag. Full throttle. And I'm not servo worked out. Let me trim that up just a little bit. So I can't keep it straight. Let me grab that. What's going on, guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm out here with this 116 scale monster truck that I'm just going to call the Buffalo <laughs> that I got off Amazon. Uh, of course, I will leave a link below in the description. But I did do the unboxing a couple days ago and the first quick run of this bad boy a few days ago. Showed you guys what came in the box and did a quick run of this bad boy. And I was kind of wet and rainy that day, so I didn't do the speed, I didn't do the speed test. But this bad boy is fully proportional steering and fully proportional throttle. Now on the box, it didn't have any like really like any speed claims on the box per se. But I went back to the Amazon listing, and the Amazon listing they claim 50 kilometers per hour. Now I don't really think it's gonna do 50 kilometers per hour because it only has a small 390 brush motor in there operating off a two-in-one esc so i don't think it's going to do 50 but it's pretty quick for its size 50 kilometers per hour is like 31 miles per hour guys there's some brushless cars that don't even do that so um we'll see what it could do i'm guessing it's going to be in somewhere within like the 15 20 mile per hour range for this little guy which is if it does do that it's pretty awesome for the price point of this bad boy i think this guy is around about around about 50 or 60 bucks and you can get it with a coupon sometimes so and sometimes prices fluctuate, so, because there's a different, I've seen this car branded on Amazon by a couple different companies, but I'll leave the link below for the one, this one here, but I've seen it branded by a couple different companies. So, but we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy running, this little RC Monsters, uh, 116 scale monster truck that I'm calling the Buffalo guy. So, like I said, it's got a 390, it's running off a, a 900 milliamp per hour lithium ion pack, it comes with two of those. So we're gonna get this bad boy a quick go. Got the speed switch turned all the way up to the max. Uh, got my GPS zeroed out up top. So let's just make sure we catch something. Make sure the GPS is reading. So the GPS is reading, just caught that 3.8 miles per hour. So without further ado, let's gonna get this bad boy going, see what we can get. Gotta get the steering trim worked out. Yeah, the servo in this bad boy definitely could use some upgrading. That's full throttle. Oh, just flipped it. Probably just scuffed up my GPS badly. Full throttle. And I'm not sure the amplitude of the servo is all over the place. I'm not sure of the amplitude of the ESC. Servo worked out. Let me trim that up just a little bit. So I can't keep it straight. Let me see what we got so far. So so far we got <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I can get it going straight. So far we got 19.8 miles per hour. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick for how cheap this was for less than 100 bucks. <clears throat> 16 scale brush. That's quicker than I thought. So let's see if we can get this tracking straight here and the way this remote is is kind of funny too to get it get it kind of i had it set up the way i want it all right, all right let's get this back in. that servo is crazy full throttle keeps wanna pull a little bit Full throttle. Yeah, that should be good right there. That should be a good run. Plus, it's hard to 
hold my camera and still film. Let's get this bad boy back on over here, see what we got. That's pretty quick. For a little 390 brush, that's pretty quick. I ain't gonna lie. Still saying 19.8. See that, 19.8, so we could probably squeeze 20. Let's squeeze 20 mile per hour out of here. Let's see if we can squeeze 20. 19.8, that's pretty good. Woo, almost hit that big old rock. And that's on a lithium ion. Let's see if we hit that 20. Still 19.8. So with the weight of the GPS, you gotta figure, give this motor a little bit of time because it is brushed to break in. I figure we will hit that 20 miles per hour. So you're gonna get about 20 miles per hour out the box. 19.8 is what it's saying right there. And uh, yeah, guys, that's not too bad for considering how much this bad boy costs. Get that body fixed up there. And uh, you know what? I didn't get to do an off-road run, so. I didn't get to do an off-road run, so let me get the ramp side. We see if we get this bad boy running off-road for a quick couple of minutes. All right, guys, so we got the little monster off-road. That's the speed test, 19 miles per hour, almost 19.8. That's just about 20 miles per hour. That's not too bad for a 16 scale brush budget car. Now, the grass is still a little bit wet from the morning dew, so. And then I looked at the listing, and the listing, I have to open these shocks up, because the listing, I didn't think these were oil, if these are oil filled shocks, there's not much oil in them, but the listing did say oil filled shocks, which actually surprised me too at this price point. So this actually could be a good, good little budget basher. Let me adjust my camera. Good little budget basher, guys, for the price. Now I'm not going for a throttle either. I'm trying to, seem like to cut out for a second there. I had a little cutout for a second on this wet grass. Yeah. Ooh, bah. This thing about to hit the ramp, don't it? It's going pretty good on this wet grass. Cars are all wet. Look at that, I almost flipped over. I'm driving with one hand. I'm not used to really driving with one hand. This remote is kind of weird. You know what? Let me adjust. All right, I'm somewhat adjusted. And the way this remote is, it's kind of hard for me to drive the way I usually drive. It has a voltage protection on the ESC, so I don't know if this grass is getting a little bit thick for it, but it's not really thick. It's just kind of wet. Pretty out, cutting out. I feel like sometimes the lights, the lights flash. That's not going too bad over wet grass. I definitely have to open them shocks up and see if they are oil filled or if they can hold oil. I'm not too sure, but it's listing. Amazon listing said oil filled shocks. Not every jump there. So we'll see what it do at some point. Power though, that's pretty good. I did not expect that. Let's see some jumps going. Tires are all good. Wow. <laughs> right, this is going for another second or two wet grass is not really ideal for it. But it's getting to it. All 
All right, I'm quick running this bad boy. 20 mile per hour for a cheap monster truck that you can get on Amazon. Not too bad, look at that moth right there chilling with the truck. Not too bad though, I say for the price point, it's a good deal. You get two lithium ion packs and I'm still running on the same pack that I'm doing the speed test on. So you get a good run time out of these little 900 milliamp hour packs. Not too bad, I figure you're gonna get about 10 to 15 minutes out of these little 900 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion packs. You get two, you get LED lights. You're gonna go about 20 miles per hour. That's not too bad, guys. Your boy Drone the Dog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys next episode. I'm out. Deuces.